And I got some. Pretty dang a nice one. Now see, the thing about fall time crappy fishing is a lot of people's gonna tell you, you need to head back to the creek as soon as it starts getting cold. Now that may be, you know, partially true, but if you're like me, if you look at the lake right now, not to, not too sure how good you can see it. You'll probably see it more in this video, but we're we're doing what most lakes call a winter drawdown, and normally that happens like right at the beginning of fall, and what that's going to do is it's going to make your shad go deep, deeper than what they would normally do. Now, if you're in a lake that doesn't have the winter drawdown, start heading to the back quarters of your creek. Start heading to the middle of that creek. But right now, you know, theoretically, they should be staged up a little bit deeper than you would think this time of year. But I'm not sure. We're going to go try to prove that in today's video. Y'all stay tuned. But sponsor of the day's video actually reached out to me. They said, I'm going to give you a little budget. I want you to go spin crazy on the website and see if you can catch fish with our stuff. And that will be Timu. Everybody's seen Timu all over the internet. So Timu reached out. They actually gave me a little bit of spending money. I went on their website, picked out a bunch of stuff, went a little crazy with it. But I seen that they had some really cool items for a certain type of fishing that works really good in the fall. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So first and foremost, <clears throat> they, I actually picked out this little bag right here. I already got it out the thing. But this is a nifty little minnow bag. It's fully collapsible. You can collapse it. You know, it's got these handles right here and it's also got a strap just like that. But the cool thing I like about it is you can zip it up at the top. There ain't a lot of splashing of water coming out of it. And you also have an oxygen port right here. So you can put your oxygenator in there. So you essentially just pop this open just like that and you can put your oxygen in there speaking of oxygen i tell you I, I got this all set up for today i got me a a mini rechargeable air pump and I, i've never seen a rechargeable one one of the one of the worst things about minnow fishing is you get out there your batteries die and your minnows die so this is actually pretty cool because you know i keep a, a portable chargers in the boat for my gopros so if this thing does die i can just charge it real quick yeah it's just a little nifty I'm dropping it nifty little thing it comes with actually two aerators so we're gonna go ahead and get these minnows i bought earlier some air real quick simple to set up a little piece of tape right here So we're gonna unzip this. We're gonna feed our airline through here. Just like that. We're gonna put the rock on it. Drop it in the water. Plug up the air. Turn it on. Simple as that, guys. So that was the two pretty much major things I bought with uh timu for today's fishing which we'll be explaining here in a minute so we also picked up a whole pack of slip corks so maybe you can see where i'm going with this also got me a bass pro hat go ahead and put this bad boy on check it out <laughs> See how she feels. There we go. Got a Bass Pro hat. I also got me a little reel, but that's coming for another video.
all right we got the boat put in the water it's a good sight you see i got so many leaves in my boat it's unreal this wasn't exactly a planned trip it was a you know i got my orders caught up just a little bit i know i still got some to go out the door but we gonna we're gonna get her done today hopefully like i said guys no electronics the only electronic thing in this boat is that new air pump from timu you know we don't have one at the front we don't have live scope we don't have nothing at the back so when i think of fall the first thing i'm going to check is a bridge that has access to deeper water than the creek and it's in the creek so that's where we're going to head first and see what that does if that doesn't pan out then we'll change locations all right so we made it to the first spot we just got your average slip cork set up we got the slip cork from timu uh got two bobber stops at the top a bobber stop at the bottom number two split shot and a jig head it's a plain jane we got it about three and a half feet to start off we're just gonna work this bridge pillar go a little bit and see what happens all right so the first spot for crappy was a bus but I, i've seen some shad flickering over here so we're gonna break out this little popper i got See if we can't call up old bass on it. It's got pretty good walk the dog action. I don't see why I wouldn't get a bite on it. I don't know what we got, but we got him on that Timu slip court. catfish <laughs> yeah little cat kitty cat all right me old kitty cat top of the lip where you want them oh little channel cat on that timu slip cork <laughs> crazy how much how warm the water is compared to the air temperature right now yeah guys we've been fishing a couple hours now and look right here this uh sobe air thing but i didn't even charge it this came out of the box and it's still rolling all these minnows in here are just perfectly fine because you got two air coming in there like it's a lot better than the little cheap one you buy at walmart honestly but anything's fun right now well i was trolling away and i got some there we go God, that's a dang crappy dudes. <laughs> Heck yeah. On that team. Ooh, slip cork. Yeah. That's a pretty dang uh, nice one. Oh. Right there on that minute. Huh. We'll let him go. Maybe that's what I need to be doing. I might try that out. 
I'm just going to troll around the bridge pillars with the slip cork. See if I get a bite. It could happen. You know, they may want it faster. Today, guys. <laughs> I got that other bite, and I was like, "Well, dang! I'll just rig up a minute and chill out for a little bit. Not a big one, but it's a fish. I mean, this little cooler, this little bait container with the air bubbles, man. That's the deal." Like the cool part, like you can get both of them for like under 30 bucks. And if you went to Walmart right now and got a, a plastic bucket and everything, like this bucket is black. So it's gonna keep stuff a little bit cooler. But nah, I caught that fish, what I done, I dropped it out there like that. I just let it go all the way to the bottom. So we go all the way to the bottom. We got a number two split shot on there. See, it's on the bottom because there's no more line coming out. I'm going to just wind it up just a little bit. And we just chilling. I keep my tip of my rod up so I can see it boink. We've got the slip cork just slip corking away over here. The boat's tied up to the bridge. The wind's blowing into me. So it's moving the boat around. It's moving the minnows around. Trying to be more productive. The jig wasn't producing. I got a couple bites on it. You know, I, I don't know exactly what depth they're at. If I can figure that out, then I can bust the jig back out and maybe catch a few that way. <laughs> but till then, we're just gonna use our boat as our little troller and let this little line take us back and forth and maybe we'll get a few more bites. surface when I had the regular jig on so I figured I'd put that grape ape on tip it with a minnow he's clobbered it yeah y'all can see dude like they still just I don't know if y'all can see it on the camera just plenty of bubbles in there we still got three bars on that rechargeable air yeah guys, if y'all got getting a short strike, you know here I got a 164 ounce jig head on. The grape ape. I'm just taking, you know, I'm trying to get the smallest minnow I can. I'm gonna go right up under the lip and right through the top nostril. Just gotta make sure you don't hit them in the brain. <laughs> now we're just gonna repeat the cast. I mean I caught a fish off that cast, so try to get the boat position. 164 is going to take a while to go down. So just going to let it fall. And then we're going to hit him with the, the Turner Crawl. One of the best features about this little minnow bucket, though, I believe, is this. We're done for today. We caught a few fish. So we're gonna go ahead and take out that one. Go ahead and take out this one. Just like that. 
easy peasy. So we can zip this back up. And this whole thing opens up just like that. So as y'all can tell, only two or three minnows died all day. And I mean, they were probably dead when they got put in there, honestly. But probably still got about a dozen or so. Probably more than that. <laughs> but they come right out. You don't have to sit there and fight with it. Do that right there. You can probably wash it out a little bit if you wanted to. Which I may, I may end up doing here in just a minute. And then you just zip it back up. Like this. to fold down and there you go <clears throat> now let's check the aerator aerator still at three bars of battery it's been going literally all day and turn that off that's all she wrote so if, if y'all would like to pick up the slip corks the aerator the bag or anything else you've seen in, in today's video that you think you might enjoy be sure to check the description down below and use my code to purchase anything from timu <clears throat> and again big shout out to them for letting me go on a little spending spree and we we're able to get out here on the lake now the issue that we ran into was what i discussed at the beginning of the video was a lake drawdown all the baits in the middle they haven't went back to the creek there's so much bait. I mean, I, I just see shad flickering everywhere. I don't have a, a sonar to show y'all, but when there's that much bait, it's really hard to get them to bite. I don't know if I was on fish or not. We caught a few fish. <clears throat> My best piece of advice for fishing conditions like this is just stand out. Bright colors, weird colors. Just try to be different than the stuff they're eating so they can zone in on your lure and not the bait they're eating but anyway guys hit the like button if you haven't already and i'll catch you on the next one